Hi, Bill here with 30 Minute Woodshop. Thanks for joining. Today we're pulling together this Robin's nesting platform. It takes about 30 minutes to make. It's made out of one fence board. It's a great project to get your kids involved in. Excellent time to talk to them about conservation, ecology, and the environment. This thing's a really good project too, by the way, if you're a scout leader, if you're Boy Scouts or Girl Scouts, because the kids can nail this together in no time flat if you pre-cut all the materials. Really cheap to make, like I said, so let's start making it. Back to the radio alarm saw. Folks, please, when you're using this kind of equipment, be sure to wear head, uh, hearing protection and eye protection. If you'll notice, I set up a stop block at 8 inches. I need 5 pieces that are 8 inches long. So we'll be cutting these off real quick. The beauty of a stop block is that it makes a very repeatable cut. As you can see, it makes short work of Now I need a piece that's 12 inches long. Actually, I need two pieces that's 12 inches long. And now we get to move on to the table saw where I got to strip off the edges and make a couple of strips to make it edge glue. So basically, I'm going to be jointing the edges of some of these pieces. So it makes it easier to, to uh, butt joint these two together. Uh, then I'll be stripping some pieces off. Okay, I have one good edge in all these. Now we have to strip off some pieces to, to widen each one of the parts. I have my roof and my floor. I'll set those aside and I'm going to split this one in two and a half strips, two and a half inch strips. I have my sides. I'm going to actually extend these by about a half inch. And then I have my back and the piece I'm going to use to uh, extend that. So we'll get busy with that and uh, I'll show you when I'm done. So we have everything cut. I have my uh, two extension pieces for the uh, roof and the floor. I have my two half inch pieces for the side. These will have to be cut off to eight inches. And then I have my extension piece for my back. It's all set. All we have to do now is glue everything up. We have the back, the top, and the bottom, and both the sides. Now what we're going to do is we're going to cut the sides. First thing we'll do is do a quick mark. You can follow the plans. already set up for that. Now what I need to do is make a few quick lines corner to mark. And we'll pull a jigsaw out and give this thing a quick cut. With my miter set for 18 and a half degrees, I'm going to cut the tops off the sides to give them a slope and then we'll come back and trim the top with that 18 and a half degrees by changing the angle of the blade. Okay, with my miter gauge set back to zero or 90. I have my uh, waxy digital angle gauge set for uh, 18.5. We're ready to make a cut. Okay, ready to assemble. I have the sides clamped to the back. Um, I left about an inch and a half here. Don't think you need to use glue on an outdoor project like this. Many times in the old days, all you did is nail. I'm using an air nailer, so I'm going to flip this over. Make sure everything's lined up. Drop some nails in it.
Hey folks, thanks for sticking. Really appreciate that. And if you got something out of this, please hit like and subscribe. As I said earlier, this Robin's Bird Nesting Platform is a great chance to talk to kids about ecology, conservation, and the environment. Hopefully you had a chance to do that. There are links at the bottom for birding and some of the equipment that I use. So feel free to click on those, take a look. And until next time, folks, good making.